This is Dragonfire, the UK's first laser weapon. Able to shoot down drones and missiles with incredible accuracy, it could revolutionize how we fight wars. And this isn't an idea decades away, we're building it right now to fit onto our warships in just three years' time. It's a fantastic example as well as of how DSDL engages and works with industry. We don't do this alone, obviously, uh, and uh, it's been a wonderful experience working with them. Um, we're really pleased today to be here at the launch of the, the next iteration of the, the Dragonfire Laser Dew story. Um, and we're really pleased that we're able to take now this next bold step towards accelerating the adoption of laser dew capability for the UK Armed Forces. We've come together really, really well uh, to create laser-directed energy weapon uh, capability. We've seen some of the stats around this, the £10 a shot, um, the, the one pound coin that we can hit from kilometers away, and it blows my mind around the physics that we've driven uh, into uh, uh, the engineering of this. When you think about trying to shine a laser pointer when you're running around a football pitch at, say, a wasp at the other end of the football pitch, uh, how can that be achieved from engineering? Well, we've done exactly that. That's what Dragonfire achieves. Uh, bringing Dragonfire from its technology demonstrator, working with DSDL, close relationship, uh, a fantastic program to get to the demonstration, but now taking that forward to military capability uh, is just fantastic. We're accelerating the program, we're doing it faster than we thought we would. The team's together, so MBDA with Kinetic uh, and Leonardo. And just to um, say how fantastic it's been part of the consortium with DSTL, MBDA and Kinetic, creating this example of uh, British technology, which is really, really going to be key in protecting our uh, forces and our, our ships in the, uh, in the years to come. Um, exciting technology, and uh, I think it's just a, a great example of collaboration.